Hi everyone, Comic Book Reviewer here. This time reviewing on issue one of My Adventures with Superman DC Comic Review. Now as you know, yeah, My Adventures with Superman is a new cartoon that has aired on Adult Swim and HPO Max over in the United States. And keep in mind, this was the first time we would get a new Superman cartoon after Superman the Animated Series. And I would say, yeah, My Adventures with Superman is basically what Marvel Spider-Man wanted to be, but failed to be. And yeah, the cover has Lois Lane, Jimmy Olsen and Clark Kent flying over lands and seas. And we see how, yeah... Clark Kent mentions about Christmas and everything else. We see how a containment pod opens up. And we see how, yeah, after the events of Season 1, and it being pretty much a year, we see how Clark is repairing the damages and all that caused by, by basically Professor Ivo's parasite suit. And this happened during the events of Season 1. And of course... We see how, yeah, Clark mentions that due to the, due to what happened back at the farm, he can't really go to Christmas to see his parents. So we kind of see how, yeah, Steve Lombard and Cat, Cat and Cat Grant have to distract Clark. So yeah, Lois and Jimmy have a plan to help Clark with his Christmas blues. So of course they have to endure with him being talkative in that. So they pretty much come up with a plan to try and give Clark the best Christmas ever. And we see how even Lois mentions about all the events that happened with, yeah, jor the parasite suit and all that, including her own father, who was a part of Amanda Warren's Task Force X group. So, of course, we see how, yeah, Jimmy Olsen's got everything planned. They hear a big rumble. And, of course, we see how everyone looks to their shock and horror that the Daily Planet is tilting. So, yeah, in this continuity, Lois, as well as Jimmy Olsen, figured out that Clark is Superman. And I like this more because this does show them trying to help Clark out the best they can. And I think this is what I think Marvel Spider-Man should have done with Gwen Stacy and Miles Morales. And not make them complete jerks. And yeah, you do see how Jimmy Olsen has to distract everyone. And yeah, after kind of stabilising the Daily Planet, we see how, yeah, they go further to the sewers to investigate. And yeah, even do some investigating. And after kind of seeing what this kind of unknown creature is or might not be, we see how, yeah, Clark finds out to his shock and horror that he thinks that this is Parasite or Professor Ivo. Now, it's sort of suggested here that this is meant to be a Mazo. So this does imply that some elements of the Parasite suit were salvaged and created a Mazo. So we kind of see how, yeah, he thinks that someone else is piloting the Parasite suit, even though it's meant to be Ivo. Ivo's sort of a Mazo thing. And we see how, yeah, Clark says... I vote, whatever you are, stop this. You're endangering people. Superman. I said stop. Superman. And yeah, we kind of see how, yeah, he tries to say, You gain super strength after you touch me. You absorb my powers. You look like Parasite, but you're not. Ivo, are you? You have to listen to me. Ivo's technology is flawed. It causes out-of-control aggression in the person wearing the suit. You need to take the suit off. What are you? And like I said, this is also meant to be a mazo with elements of the parasite suit. So we kind of see how the army tries to get involved. And after trying to try and take down the sort of new parasite... We kind of see how Clark has to try and stop it from causing any more harm. And yeah, we kind of see how Arthur trying to uh, make sure that no further harm comes. We see it speaking, saying, Please, Superman, save me. And yeah, gets taken down. 
And obviously, yeah, this guy is supposed to be Bloodsport. And turns out it's meant to be Checkmate, who are keeping things under wrap. And we see how, yeah, Amanda Warren learns from, from basically Deadshot. I mean, from basically Deathstroke, that, yeah, the Boris is here, and that Checkmate is trying to phase him out. Which sort of implies, after the Task Force X thing, this implies Checkmate now had mixed feelings about tech, Task Force X, and now want to try and, and clean up their mistakes. And we see how, yeah, after seeing how Jimmy as well as Lois are okay, we see how Clark thinks and realises... He might have made a mistake. And yeah, this is the story. So I think issue one is pretty good. I know this was made from an unproduced episode idea. And yeah, I can see where there was ideas that could have worked. But I think had season two been the starting point of this story, it would have been interesting to see some after effects from season one. And then, yeah, trying to build up the other episodes for Season 2. As it would make sense why Amanda Waller would trust Lex Luthor more. And it would kind of show how, yeah, after basically Task Force X, it could have built Checkmate, Checkmate up to be a bit more of a believable threat. There is some like, good ideas from this um, unproduced story that could have worked for a legit episode. So I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, Comic Viewer here, signing out.